What a hook to this series. Now, I have been glazing soul leveling before it even came out, right? Because, like, a couple months back, we've been watching, like, Annie News, Giga Soul leveling video. This is gonna be the best power fantasy ever. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone's talking about it. But at the same time, don't you feel like episode two delivered? Episode one was a different story that was more of a setup. And technically, those two episodes should be one premiere, you know, into like an hour long premiere. But goddamn, by the ep end of episode two, I'm pretty much fucking sold on this show. What a way to introduce us and hook us into this show. The way that we're getting these powers, we don't really know yet, but a game menu has opened up. It says, would you like to be a player? It's I think it says courage of the weak fulfilled, right? The quest has been completed. So the power up that this you know, weak noob gets. Like, you know how all these power fantasies starts with, like, someone that's, like, zero but turns into a hero somehow? It feels like we're fucking deserving it because we're just, like, suffering for everything, right? And we're just, like, going through everything. Everyone's betraying us. Bro has his legs, arms, everything's cut off. About to get the fucking best Korean plastic surgery there has been never known to mankind to turn into Sung Drippu. And I believe this episode's gonna do that. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we got to see a piece of family guy there. Let's see. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I saw a piece of family guy there. Where, where, where? Come on. Yeah, there he is. You can see him right there. He's split in fucking half, dude. <laughs> and we're about to die too. But? The blue flame hasn't gone out yet. Alright, this is FNAF. 6 a.m. is about to hit. And then, boom. Courage of the weak. <laughs> What is it? Okay. How do we escape that? How, do we, how the fuck do we get? Maybe someone saved us. But okay. He hasn't changed yet. He still has the same haircut and the same physique. Okay, hold up. The arm's back too. We recovered. And the foot. How? Did the statues just fucking fix us? You met no, it's not a dream. Because they have the menu. Can you pop up the menu? Ujinchol. <laughs> Okay. Surveillance team manager. This is pro. Okay, I was gonna say this is probably because you know he fucking just he's the, is he the lone survivor? No, there's a bunch of other people that also left the gate and survived though. But he's probably like suspicious that we just kind of lived that. Three days coma. Oh, they lived. They lived, right? Okay. I mean, he's bro is like fucking 60, like five years old. He should be retiring. So everyone is just like psychologically destroyed. Well, everybody is not. Yeah, he's done. Not, I don't even know who that guy was. The Tiger Guild. White Tiger Guild. Hey, isn't this the guy we saw in the intro first episode with the guy? He doesn't show the nipples, but you know, the fucking crazy lingerie suit he has. Wait, what? The temple or the statues did not exist. Like that room just like disappeared? What? Without a trace? What? But everyone said the same shit though. So it's not a conspiracy. Are, are, are we in trouble here? Are, are we in trouble? What's going on? Okay. Except you, you can level. So, second awakening is just basically another awakening. Yeah, exactly what it says. But it's still static, right? So you'll get bumped up another tier. Who knows? You might be go from E to C rank. E to B rank. But that's it. Because what I'm assuming from what Jin Wu got is different where it's a leveling system implying depending what the level cap is, you will continue to scale the growth. We don't just stop there. It's, it's, it's not a second awakening. It's not third awakening. We have infinite awakening in the form of the level system, right? Uh-oh. Uh, what level are we now? I wonder. Are we, we're probably still E rank, right? Like, no shot he's like S rank now, right? Mm. Well, they're really suspicious about the second awakening thing, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't, look, I don't know what that number, what, what you know, the reference point of the numbers are supposed to be, but the number 10, if you look at this device and the number of placeholders for the digits it could possibly have, five digits, right? 
probably fucking still E rank. Yeah, how'd it go? Dude, they probably felt bad. They probably look at the score and they're like, <laughs> 10? I'm sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. Ign ignore the second awakening thing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> Even E ranks have higher than 70. Bro, we're below E rank. We're fucking F rank. We're a literal jobber! A civilian? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Bro didn't even call us an NPC or a jobber. He just called us a fucking civilian, too. We're a fucking pedestrian. That's so odd, though. The dungeon just disappeared. But what about the menu screen, bro? Open it up. Because only he can see this, right? Usually the Zisekai, even like in Shield Hero, right? I don't think anyone can see this, like, panel. Except, you know, now for me, right? It's not a touch panel. What do you do then? The fuck? That's how we accept it. Like, who the fuck could say no here? Your heart's gonna stop in 0 0.2 seconds. 0 0.2 seconds. If you choose not to accept, will you accept? Hmm, do I want to live or die? Oh, sister. Song Jina. Okay, the sister is angry, but because she loves us. But that kind of defeats the perp. Everybody's just trying to sacrifice themselves to, you know, help each other out, but she can't, right? Because he's a player of this game. Let's think about this. You want to be a player, we got a game menu. No one else is playing this game, though. Only Jin Mu is playing the game. But who created the game? You know? So are we living in a simulation? Like, it feels like there's somebody outside this box that's just like, giving Jin Mu the option to become a player of his own game. So like, who, who is this person outside that is like the master of the simulation, this, this game? I, the statues? I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. Oh. And again, when I, when I, okay. When I ask these questions, these are rhetorical questions. I'm talking to myself, okay? I don't blame people if they like comments. That's why I don't read the comments anymore on YouTube, especially because everybody fucking spoiled. Because when I ask a question, people will dead ass give me a fucking timestamp of where I asked the question and directly fucking spoil me. So I don't read that shit anymore. Remember, these are all rhetorical questions. I'm trying to be engaging by talking to an imaginary audience, right? These questions, though, I'm not asking for an answer, okay? <laughs> Strength daily. We have daily qu How many people plays mobile games here? You play like Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Epic Seven. You know these games. You got fucking daily quests. You got to fucking log on. The daily quests. It's like a daily login bonus, and you have to fucking do these fucking chores. You got to do these fucking homework. It's not even a game anymore. You got to just fucking log in and do your thirty minutes of dailies. It's fucking annoying. So he has daily quests he has to do now. What is this? Fucking run like fucking 10 miles? Like what? <laughs> Hunt like 10 monsters? Like what is this shit? Save the cat from a tree? Random ass? <laughs> Yo, this girl again. They showed us again. She was in like the exam situation before in like the first episode. Failing to comply with the system may result in a penalty. Penalty? What do you mean, penalty? Like, what if like the quest is just go to the fucking gym and do like fucking bench press? Like, what? <laughs> Dude, is this not the Saitama One Punch Man training? Push up, sit up, squats, running. Now the I'm not sure if it was actually ten. Like, is it the exact same resume? Like the numbers, like a hundred push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and 10k. The author of this, so what, I, I guess like when this, the author was making this and when One Punch Man manga was also being made at the same time, right? They must have like, he must have taken inspiration because he thought this shit was funny and just kind of put it in there. Probably, yeah. It's like a direct reference, right? That's hilarious. What is a penalty though? The penalty is in red. That's kind of scary. Can you describe the penalty, please? That loading bar is going, dude. What is that loading bar doing? It ticked. 
Dungeon Break when monsters come out of the gates. Oh, the data bank. Alright. CGI car. Oh, it's him, Mr. Guildmaster Che. Fucking fire guy. Chain! Wait. She's. I thought like, people are saying that this character doesn't show up until like a long time later in the webtoon. So the fact that they showed this character in episode one was to kind of like te to tease the anime only. It's like, hey, this girl exists. Be wa watch out for her. But did this shit happen in the webtoon? Like, she is in this early game already being introduced like this? Or is this anime only? If this is anime only and they're trying to flex this girl, this is a huge anime only dub, dude. <laughs> Okay. He's trying to raise her up or what is going on, huh? Oh. These motherfuckers literally call their guild the Hunter's Guild. So I just assumed there's one guild called the Hunter's Guild that everyone operates in. But like, there's f actually five guilds. He just happened to brand his guild the like the official hunters guild when everyone technically is a hunter they also belong <laughs> actually genius marketing this is all about branding this is all about putting your fucking balls on the table and saying we are the official hunters guild right it's uh, yeah this is all branding actually this guy's fucking smart yeah <laughs> glasses all right cj lampo Ooh, another gate. <laughs> Yo, these civilians are fucking... God damn it, where the fuck are the hunters? Yo, where the fuck is my taxpayer fucking money going? Just waste of fucking life. Yo, what are these civilians? <laughs> you go in there and do it, civilian! Uh... Penal so that so we saw this thing this this wheel right this thing is all red now it was ticking did we fail was that the daily limit it hit midnight so he didn't do this so we're gonna get the appropriate penalty now um the penalty is an earthquake <laughs> What? Earthquake happened. Now we're in a desert. The appropriate penalty for skipping your dailies in this game is get hunted down by this fucking monster scorpion thing, worm thing. That's the penalty. It said appropriate penalty. Mo this is why they should have fucking defined what a penalty was. It was just in red. All right, giant centipede. <laughs> penalty quest. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> the goal? <laughs> survive. For, for four hours, we have to survive. <laughs> Okay, so instead of doing 10 kilometers of running, we're going to do like a thousand kilometers of running for four hours. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can fight that thing. And Jinmu's just gone. He just gets transported. Yeah, he's fighting for his life right now. No, running for his life, actually. This is fucked. Oh, there's multiple of them, too. Two hours of constant running? Bro, I can barely run for fucking 10 minutes. This bro has to run for four fucking hours? Oh, 4 a.m. almost there. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> Dude, what happens if you die here, right? What happens if you die in a penalty quest? You're just done forever? What the fuck? And saved by the bell again. Bop. Hey, we survived again by just surviving. You know, to the last time limit. Penalty quest survival. You did it. Please, next time, you know, try to do your dailies on time. It's a reward we can collect. What is it gonna be? Money? Gear? 
もう少ししたら退院できると思う。よかった。さんざんし。Is it just me or does voice kind of change? Did that sound a little deeper? Am I, am I, or am I cap? Because like maybe this is just、uh, me going schizo because I'm trying to find the exact moment when he starts to change. Because of the, of the height, you know, the hair, the facial structure. I'm trying to locate the exact moment when shit just. Is he taller? I don't know. Is he actually taller or not? Because now I'm getting like actual schizo now, right? I don't know. Am I trying to believe that it is happening or is it actually happening? Because the voice is deeper, dude. Maybe not? I don't know. Maybe I want to believe it is. I don't know. Nah, Juhi is done, dude. He's not coming out of her place. Damn, she just permanently traumatized, huh? She hasn't even visited him yet. She's actually smiling too, but like. Okay, she got a bouquet of flowers. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. It's way too early, and there's no shot that this should happen. But could you imagine if Cha h e i n is for some reason in Cha Sung Jin Mu's room right now just to cuck her immediately? Like, it's way too early, right? It's way too early. And I don't think Cha h e i n even shows up in the webtoon, right, this early. So it makes no sense. But I'm just trying to figure out a scenario in my head where this girl gets cucked and gets replaced because, you know, she's a child of friend that loses. <laughs> Come on. No? Okay, never mind. Oh, he's doing his dailies right now. 10 km run. Get back into shape. Is his facial structure gonna change too? Are you sure the voice is not deeper? Oh, you got rewards. Whoa, game panel. Look at that. Full recovery, ability points plus three, random loop. Oh, pfft. Okay, so what you should do here is go for option two, right? I'm just gonna assume ability points is like stats, right? So you could do like plus three to like strength, luck, whatever. But the gambler in me, you know, I wanna fucking gamble. What if we get like an SSR weapon, man? What if we get like the five star shiny weapon, man? It's a limited banner. We gotta fucking pull, guys. It's our last chance. Nah, fuck full recover. Really? Oh, it's all three? Oh, okay, it's all three. It's all three. Okay, okay. I thought he just picked fucking recovery of it. Okay, we, we get all three right after that. Why want a weapon when you're weak? Bro, you literally answered my own question. Sorry, you, asked, you, 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 you answered your own question. What do you mean, why want a weapon when you're weak? Of course he needs a weapon! Because he's weak! Now, the stat distribution, I like this kind of stuff, right? Because in a game like this, what would you guys allocate your points in? Is there luck? There's no luck here. Maybe it's like PER. I don't know what this is, but in these kind of games, the way that if I was the Isekai character, I would not put my stats into like strength or agility or, you know, these like、uh, other things that you would normally do in a game, right? Like you want to max out your magic intelligence. You want to become strong, st you know, strength. You know what I max it on? I would put it in stuff like luck, charisma. Speech, some of those bullshit skills so that you can just rally everyone to work for you. So, perception probably is something like that. Maybe it's just like intuition here. I don't know. But okay, he's gonna put it into strength. So, is his muscles actually becoming bigger because he got strength? Are you guys sure his voice isn't deeper? I think his voice is a little deeper, guys. Am I crazy?、Mm. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's fucking crazy. This is why you guys are looking at me right now. Every time I'm trying to find a f u n point, it's like, did his voice get deeper? Is he taller, guys? Is he taller? And this is you guys looking at me. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> Don't look at me, guys. Don't make eye contact. Alright, random loot box. What is it? SSR weapon. Oh, oh. A key? Fuck a dungeon? Loot chest? What is this? Key for teleporting to an instance dungeon can be used to exit three of the Hapjong subway station. Is, is this where we go to level? Instance dungeon? There's regular dungeons, there's a double dungeon, but then there's instance dungeons, which I'm sure is like limited to him because, you know, this menu gave him the key. Okay. No!、Oh. oh, he's afraid he's gonna see him again. <laughs> Today's gate report. That's like the weather report. 
<laughs> Instead of weather reports like today, it's gonna be rainy. It's like here are the gates of destruction today. Try to live, guys. <laughs> See, stuff like this makes it a lot more immersive. You could just imagine this happening in real life. You know, you just had a fucking Costco or random TV screen just telling you gates are here going on, and everyone's just acting normal and casual because that's the norm here. What are we gonna do about the mom, man? Would I want to live in Soul Leveling World? Only if I'm Jin Mu, dude. Fuck everyone else. How does she even like go into a coma? Yeah. Eternal sleep disease? <laughs> just magical bullshit coma. The gates open. <laughs> She's in the coma. Okay. One in several 10,000 people happens. Unlucky. If the mom was exposed to a lot of mana back then, Back then, was that around? Is that a super powerful person that has a lot of mana coming out? So is this the reason why the dad left? I mean, it's a little bit too late, but like, if we go in the thought process that exposure to mana causes this, and if we try to make the assumption that the dad lived before, but now is gone, he left because he was too powerful? Like, I... I, 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 I got a conspiracy cap going on, but that's the only logical conclusion you can make, right? Oh, he's doing push-ups? Hmm? What? Huh? Oh, this is just his backstory? The first time he was awakened? <laughs> We're looking forward to what you can do. Our level 10, but oh, hey, our boy is, you know, he's down to like 11% body fat. Look, the abs are coming in. Let's go. No, you can't. You can't even afford your own fucking shoes, bro. Oh, he's in squats. He's in squats. Hey, hey, why is the goblin licking your tongue like that, yo? Now, I haven't seen Goblin Slayer Episode 1, but I have kind of heard what happened. <laughs> Why are you looking your tongue like that, bro? We're the weakest hunter alive. I thought, um, some places you just enter and you basically can loot at the same... Even if you just participate, the loot is distributed evenly, but I think that might be like a different mode. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so... <laughs> How could you even be mad at this kid at this point? I just feel bad. 28 power strength. Oh shit. Yo, is he just gonna brute force his way? Just all strength? We gotta like even... Maybe I, when you're doing stat allocation like that, sometimes a balanced stat is kind of boring. So just going one trick pony into one stat is very funny. So if he goes all strength, it'd be kind of funny. But then he just turned into One Punch Man. Alright, instance dungeon. Here we go. You can use like three times it said, right? Wait, just the lock just open. So can no one else access this? Like only us? Okay. Hapchung Station has now turned into an instance dungeon. Oh, exit three was the location. It wasn't like three times three. You have entered the instance dungeon. How do we leave? Wait, how do we leave? Are, are we stuck in a dungeon? <laughs> Imagine the fucking statue shows up again. This is actually kind of scary. I would be a little bit panicking right now, dude. <laughs> she, wait, that's a normal ass person. Because it's a subway station at the end of the day, so normal people can just like go back and forth. Okay. Red gates? What's a red gate again? I forget. I thought they were all just blue gates, but okay. You cannot exit the dungeon. You must either defeat the boss or... Use a teleportation stone. What the fuck did we buy a teleportation stone? You got a fucking shop? Have fun! Well, his strength is like 30 or something now, right? Maybe he's stronger. You got, you got a knife? Yeah? He should be fine, right? Surely we won't just take another L here. Like, no one's gonna save him if he does. He just has to succeed here. Oh, bro, come on. More seats, more goblins! 
Yo, these goblins got fucking mohawks too. Oh, oh dodged? Dodged? Oh, maybe our daily training is working? I mean, this is way better than what we would have done before. We'd be already dead. Okay, okay. Bro, stop dodging an attack. Oh. Hey! Let's go! Okay, why am I getting so hyped up about beating a fucking NPC goblin? But this is huge milestone for Sung Jin Mu, dude. We've, all we've done is get bodied by goblins so far, but let's go. First kill. And the whole choreography scene here, it's looking very fluid, right? I don't, like, the fight choreography, not just Jin Mu, but the goblins, like, everything looks very fluid, right? E even here, when it's all zoomed out, it's still looking pretty detailed. Like, they just spent, like, five seconds just dodging there. There was no need to do that, but the, the choreography there was very good. First kill. We killed a goblin. Oh, that's on the head. Yo. Eyes of a killer. I think he's just getting slowly used to his strength, right? He doesn't know how to... He doesn't have the experience, right? He's definitely gotten stronger. He just doesn't know how to use it. Oh, that's a wolf, bro. Yo, if you've ever fought the red wolf in fucking Elden Ring, this shit's a fucking nightmare. Steel fanged lichen. All right. No, now's not the time to shake him, bro. Don't. The statues were worse. Way scarier, bro. Come on, come on. Don't give me a cliffhanger. Don't give me a cliffhanger. I swear to God. Fuck. We're running out of the episode, dude. Okay. Wolf running animation is smooth. Cliffhanger, I swear to God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't! It's fine. Cliffhanger is... It's, it, I mean, I mean, like, what, what, I mean, he could have fucking stabbed the wolf and he'd been like, wow, I'm, I'm getting stronger and could have, it's, it, it's fine, it's fine. That's another episode of solo leveling. Hey, we're finally getting to know more about this leveling system, right? So, again, he is a player of a game that implies that there is a creator of the game, meaning there's someone outside that might have been orchestrating, you know, these gates. These, you know, people becoming like, are, is, is God like bored? And he's like, fuck it. I'm so bored. I'm just going to give my monkeys a bunch of powers and I'm just going to open a bunch of gates so they can survive. Like, is it for entertainment? I don't really know. But some people can become a player, apparently. And Sung Jin Mu is a player. Do other players in this world exist? That's probably end game content. Don't spoil me. But by doing this, we basically have daily quests we got to do. I fucking hate daily quests. I hope that they're weekly quests, but it is what it is. You do that shit, you get a reward. If you don't do it in time, you get sent to the desert to fucking fight a centipede monster. And I wonder what would happen if you actually like die, you know, fighting a centipede monster. That would be <laughs> something I don't want to find out. And I've had a lot of schizo moments this episode thinking, did he change appearance? Is he getting taller? Is his facial structure changing? Did his voice get deeper? I don't think so, not yet. Or at least the inner dialogue, it's just, you know, it's because it's a more calm sounding voice like this. So I thought his voice was deeper, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's changing. Maybe it's changing, right? We got to know a little bit more about, you know, the mom, the eternal sleeping disease or something that it just happens to one out of 10,000 people due to continually exposed to mana, which then I put my tinfoil theory on, Cap said. And I said, hmm, what if the dad was so powerful, he was oozing mana that it caused the mom. But then what about the son and the daughter, right? Why, why didn't Sung Jin Mu and his sister not get put into the disease? I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just RNG. I don't know. I'm just trying to just theorize and try to figure out how the dad, the missing dad, can relate to the story. And now we have instance dungeons that, you know, it's like a, a random loot, right? You do the dailies and sometimes you might get this key, instance dungeon, where you can supposedly level up right so we're gonna get exp maybe the exp gain from this instance dungeon will be more than the daily so we're gonna get like more rewards more stat attribution and stuff like that he's kind of going all in on strength right now which he does kind of need but i'll be really interested to see exactly what kind of powers he'll have because he fights a lot with daggers you know and daggers is not really meant for you know strength if he had a great sword i feel like sure strength sounds good but agility is just kind of chilling there also intelligence is there 
I don't really know what he's going to do, but we'll figure out in the future episodes. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.